in today's silliness, there's bolts galore on the cut. Oh, it seems to be the oh, clip that. I contemplate taking up golf. And the wife spots an idiot on an aqueduct. then and welcome to the video. First of all as always I'd like to say a big thank you to all you likers, watchers and subscribers. We've also had lots of comments regarding our absence and where we've been and what we've been up to. We had a question from Harry regarding our solar panels and how we clean them. Well Harry what we do is we get some warm soapy water and we just give them a wash over and a dry. And the good as new. We took a little bit of time off from filming. We went up to uh, to Whitfield and had a look round the locks there. It was a lovely cruise in the August bank holiday. And after that, we kind of settled into a bit of work so I could pay for all the repairs that we've got to do to Laura over the winter period. To all of you who said hello while we were on that cruise, it was good to see you. If you've got out to say, or you've got a question, or even some suggestions as to what we should get up to while we're cruising around, stick them in the comment box wherever YouTube's put it this week, and I'll do my very best to get back to you. In today's video, we're on a cruise to Garstang. We visit every pub in the village and forget why we went there in the first place. After an evening of debauchery, I mean, um, sampling of local cuisine, we passed out, I mean, slept soundly, ready for a cruise the next day. But that's for another video. Let's have a look at where we went. Here we are once again with a trusty screwdriver pointy pencil. Once again we begin our journey today at Bridge 75, just there, Ratcliffe Wharf. Our engine is fresh, our fluids are topped up and we have a spare weekend to waste. This was filmed uh, around about the end of July, I think. So we're heading south towards the village of Garstang. Heading through some lovely countryside. And a lot of duckweed. It's five miles or so to Garstang from where we were. Garstang itself is a large village. And one of the first, if not the first, fair trade village. There's plenty of shops, pubs, cafes, and even a street market on Thursdays. Well worth a wander around. So there we are, Garstang. Best crack on then. Run over some paddlers. see there that the uh, canoeists have kept to the side there because of the old saying paddle gives way to motor, motor gives way to pedestrians or something like that anyway. to avoid the ducks but as the wind pushed me over to the other side. If you listen really carefully there's a slight rattly noise. I need to check my engine mounts to see if they're loose. What's 
going on here. I think I just lost a bit of concentration for a while. Sometimes it pays to slow down. Thank you. <laughs> right. What are you bound for? Just going up to Garstang for the weekend, we think. Just have a nice weekend and relax a bit. That's what it's all about, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> I'm going up to Millsborough. All right. Very nice to meet you, mate. And you. See you soon. I actually have no idea how to react when people recognise me. It's a funny old feeling, but nice at the same time. Hello to that fella, whoever Hello you me. are. I forgot to ask your name. It's mostly yoghurt pots in this marina, although I think Country House Gin is moored up there. This section looks a bit busy. to bridge 65 well it's not there anymore as it was taken down after the Knot End Railway was closed. That's a busy old road that one. After bridge 63B is another bridge that's carrying gas, I think, or maybe even sewage. This stretch here is a popular little mooring spot, and quite nice it is too. We're getting quite close to Garsang now, just round the bend there. A good set of moorings there on the starboard side, good for a night or two. How do you? Put the solar on there. Yeah. Four panels. Yeah, that's some size of panel. 320. Is that running panel. everything? Pretty much, yeah. Nice. He says with a big generator. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. As you can hear, we narrowboaters are now obsessed with batteries and solar panels. Sometimes I wonder if all this technology might spoil my enjoyment of the narrowboat life. It doesn't seem to have spoiled it, judging by me whistling. Can anybody uh, tell me if I pat my arm right? I've heard there's a system regarding this. Sounds like a bit. Morse code, two short paps. Sorry, love. Mark from Well Deck Diaries knows all about it. Managed to scare the wits out of Bruiser, the poor lad. After this bridge is Garstang Facilities Point. 
offering toilet and rubbish disposal and showers and water, everything really. Which is handy as we need to get rid of some rubbish and fill up our water tank. Also I've got the loose to empty. There's the bin store I was just mentioning. After a quick pit stop and a lovely chat with the owners of Duck Island Hire Boats, we set off in search of moorings for the night. Harry? Oh dear! Yeah, will do. Thank you very much. <laughs> this looks like a cracking spot, but it's a bit shallow towards the towpath. Well, I hadn't realised there was a great big boat heading right for me. They wanted to pull into the side, so I quickly got out of their way. This is where Laura excels in heading into whichever direction she wants. go with that disaster averted we carry on it looks like we're playing the world's slowest game of chicken there uh, all right how you doing Yeah. Yeah, got it. Thanks very much. I'll learn how to drive one day. <laughs> I'm assuming that building on the port side there is now stood on what was once a wharf. Be nice and interesting to know if I'm right. And although this looks like a windy know, it isn't marked down as well. Although this is a busy road, the bridge hasn't been made any bigger, so at some point they've added that footbridge. Side is the Tithe Barn pub selling food and ale, which we sampled. Well, beer anyway. This looks like a belting spot. Let's moor up here. After a bit of moaning from the crew, we managed to moor up. She's going. <laughs> it's all right, 
That's all right, that's all right. It wasn't all right. I managed to get the stern rope stuck between my legs. That's the wife there with a cackle of concern. <laughs> And there she is, safely moored up. Time for a pub crawl, I mean some sightseeing. There we go, a smashing cruise and an unforgettable night out. Apparently I had the kebab. We hope you enjoyed this week's video. Next time we're heading north back towards Golgate and we make a life changing decision. Here's a sneaky peek. Should we go back there? Might be an idea. Oh, the drama. Anyway. If you enjoyed this video, give us a like, subscribe if you want to see more, and if you click that little bell icon, YouTube will my dear next time we release one. Well, that's everything on my list. I reckon we'll call it a draw for this one. Till next time. <laughs>